Good morning, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Joe Anderson. And I'm Brooklyn Benjaminson. Today's Thursday, February 1st. In 1915, a gathering of African Americans observing the 50th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation was held in the city of Chicago. From this event that drew thousands of black Americans from across the country grew what is today designated as Black History Month. A young black scholar, Carter G. Woodson, was one of the participants, participants at the Chicago event. Woodson traveled from Washington, D.C. to Chicago to participate as an exhibitor in the observance. Having received a doctorate degree from Harvard University just a few years before, Woodson championed the promotion of black intellectuals and black history. At the conclusion of the Chicago gathering, Carter G. Woodson joined with two other participants in the event in creating an organization committed to promoting the achievements of blacks and highlighting their scholarly works. In 1925, Woodson encouraged the organization to take up the mantle of not only creating the knowledge of black past, but also publicizing this knowledge. This organization will begin what we now know today as Black History Week, now month. Happy birthday today to Shanna Mushaw. Welcome to RT Today, brought to you by the D. Buchanan Studio of Dance, Middletown's home for dancers. Come dance with us. In news, a hangar under construction on the grounds of the airport or in Boise, Idaho, collapsed Wednesday, killing three people and injuring nine more. Everyone who had been at the site had been accounted for as of Wednesday evening. Hummel wouldn't immediately comment on the condition of those injured or say whether anyone had died. In entertainment, Universal Music Group pulled all of its artists' music from TikTok yesterday, January 31st. The reason for the removal is the expiration of the licensing agreement between the two companies, with TikTok not expanding in the negotiation. Some of the artists that had their music pulled from the app are Taylor Swift, Drake, Olivia Rodrigo, and other major music artists. In sports, the Baltimore Ravens defensive coordinator Mike McDonald was hired by the Seattle Seahawks for a head coaching position yesterday. McDonald is receiving a six-year contract and is now the youngest head coach in the NFL. That's a wrap. Let's go to Brooklyn with today's announcements. Thanks, Joe. Attention seniors, don't forget to go in and update your Naviance account as you hear back from colleges. You can indicate accepted, denied, waitlisted, or deferred as appropriate. This is a huge help to the counseling department. FCPS High School Remote Virtual Learning Program applications are due Friday, February 2nd. The virtual program is open to grades 9 through 12. Registration for spring sports is now open. Please get all of your documents and payments completed before the March 1st tryout date. Attention 9th grade student athletes that plan on trying out for the baseball team in the spring. Please see Coach McCann in room 508 before school or during Ninth's Quest to get information about our Schoology group, registration, and tryouts starting on March 1st. Need roses for your sweetheart? Let the horticulture students save your day. Make that special someone very happy and support our MHS students in the process. Availability is on a first-come, first-served basis. In sports, tonight, the girls' basketball team is away, plays Fisberg, JV at 5.30 and varsity at 7. The wrestling team plays Boonesboro away at 6 p.m. Roll nights. Now let's go to Josh with a look at today's weather. Thanks, Brooklyn. Partly sunny skies today, making it a mild and dry start to February. Temperatures will get up to 52 degrees and down to 40 degrees. Also, expect wind gusts to reach 14 miles per hour. That's all for weather. I'm Josh Hauser. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe Anderson. And I'm Brooklyn Benjaminson. Peace out. And we leave you with this final RT Plus segment by Logan Haig. Welcome to Real Quick Review. I'm Logan Haig. And today we're diving into the Blood Racing Game by EA and Codemasters, EA Sports WRC. EA Sports WRC is a collaboration between gaming giants Codemasters and EA, merging the best of Dirt Rally and WRC series into one adrenaline-fueled adventure. Whether you're a seasoned racer or new to a track, EA Sports WRC offers an exhilarating journey from rookie to WRC superstar. Customize your ride, manage your team, and strategize your way to victory. Every decision you make on your path through the classes of the World Rally Championship. If you're a fan of the Forza games or Need for Speed games, this might be the one for you. With its more realistic simulation, you can't get any better anywhere else, which leaves me with a rating of 9 out of 10.